I want to deal with one more thing. I want to deal with this spirit of offense that's roaming around this church. Come on, how many prophetic people do I have in here? Wave at me. Am I the only one that's discerned? Owen, am I? Can you, have you discerned the spirit of offense? Kavan, you expect, listen, we need to squash this thing. Whenever you have revival fire, the snakes always come out. And that snake is offense. And I wanted to do this in the first service, but I knew that people, you know, one lady came in. She got, she was already offended by a misunderstanding that someone else brought forth and stormed right out during worship. Could not be consoled. That is, how can you sit? Come on. Come on, church. How can you sit in an atmosphere like this with a divinic minstrel like this and and hold on to an offense? The anointing that he carries on his life, how can he release that atmosphere and and you can walk storm out mad, madder than hell? How is that? That's a spirit of offense. And it's been roaming around this church. And somebody's talking to somebody else and the enemy's lying to them and oh, they won't get me delivered. We got you delivered 15 times. You got to walk it out, honey. Come on. Deliverance is not meant to be a weekly thing. Amen. All this offense, all this, and you know what? It's perversion, it's offense, and we're about to deal with it. So if, if, if you're offended, now is the time. I, I'm not talking about offended with me or offended with this church. I mean any kind of offense because you don't have to be offended with me or offended with this church for you to bring offense in here and for that voice, that demon that's on you to begin to minister to other people. And we need to protect this atmosphere. We need to protect what God is building. And some people don't understand. Why are you so sensitive to the atmosphere? Why are you so concerned about who's doing what and who's serving where? Why don't you just let anybody in prophecy rooms or healing rooms or deliverance rooms? Why? Because I've spent 10 years of my life fighting and pressing and pushing against all odds. Half the male pastors in this city tell me I can't preach because I'm a woman. That's why, because I'm going to guard it. Because we're not going to let the enemy tear it down. So if that's you, just in your heart, if you have aught with anybody, would you please let it go? For your sake, not for my sake. It's not about me. It's not for you. It's it's for you. Let's just take a moment. Just take a moment. we choose to release and spit out the bait of Satan. Love is not touchy or easily offended. Forgive us, Lord, for tapping in to that spirit, for allowing that demon to minister to our hearts instead of your gracious spirit you're there all the time you want to love on us you want to comfort us you want to heal us and we would rather listen to the voice of offense that pulls us away from the people that we are supposed to be with our family our co-workers our friends some petty little offenses God we're so sorry that it was so easy the devil didn't even have to try hard just a whisper and we agreed because of our insecurities, because of our comparison mentality, because we want something that we don't have. We want something someone else has and somebody else got it. We didn't get it now. We're a fitting God. Would you forgive us for being so quickly deceived by this demon power, by this voice? We spit out the bait of Satan in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we forgive those. Maybe they did wrong us. Maybe they did bring on. Maybe they did do something they shouldn't have done. Maybe they said something they shouldn't have done. But so many of our offenses are just imaginary. And would you help us, Lord, to grab hold of our minds? Because they probably didn't even mean it. They didn't know what they were doing. They had a bad day. And somehow we just let the enemy twist it all up in our head. 
We want to harm ourselves. It's not hurting them. It's hurting us. It's not hurting them. It's hurting us. So, Father, we don't want to be a punching bag for the enemy anymore. We don't want to let him continue to minister to our soul and make us miserable while the person who offended us, quote unquote, is off having a good time. They're not even thinking about us. And our life is being dominated by these wrong thoughts to the point that we walk flat straight out of church, mad in a huff. Quit our jaws, mad in a huff. Break off friendships, mad in a huff. Forgive us, Lord. We want no part of it. And we know this is an end times demonic strategy because Jesus said in the, the, the Olivet Discourse in Matthew 24 that in the last days, many will be offended. And here we are. We are in the last days. We are in the end times. And it's just like Jesus prophesied because he never falters. He never fails. It, 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 says, it, says, it says many will be offended and then many will be deceived. The offense is the precursor to the deception. God, would you forgive us and get this out of us? We release it and we let it go in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen, amen and amen. God bless you.